It's the same thing that happens when we deprive someone from iodine. The beginning TSH starts to go up, T4 goes down, T3 is normal. So T3 has no role in that diagnosis of hypothyroidism. Free T4 and TSH do. Now, patients will come with a normal free T4, a normal TSH, and say, I'm hypothyroid because I feel tired. I have all the symptoms. I looked it up. I have all the symptoms of hypothyroidism. I, I, my body temperature is low. I gain weight. My hair is falling. I'm very tired. My periods are altered. I don't have energy to do anything. These are all symptoms of hypothyroidism. And then you say, well, but your thyroid function, I'm looking here, is perfectly normal. I have secondary hypothyroidism. My TSH doesn't go up. That's what I have. Now, secondary hypothyroidism. Secondary thi hypothyroidism. Is when the pituitary the, the, gland cannot produce. Cannot respond to is that, Or the hypothalamus TRH. or the TSH yep. is not working. So uh, it, 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 it's a real entity, clinical entity, the secondary hypothyroidism, very rare. It's not common, it's very rare. Less than 1% of the cases of hypothyroidism have, uh, are secondary hypothyroidism. And, but the important thing is the free T4 in these patients must be below normal because otherwise you don't have hypothyroidism. You know, to, to have secondary hypothyroidism, you, have hypo, you need to have hypothyroidism, which is the hallmark of hypothyroidism is a free T4 that's below normal with a TSH that doesn't go up. 